you came across this question in your chemistry exam be it you are preparing to write the jump exam post utme exam or any other chemistry related exams how will you solve it it is extremely very easy now let's solve together the question says in an attempt to remove sugar we have to take note of that substance which is sugar from a beaker wow they told us that we are trying to remove sugar and this sugar is inside this beaker containing a quantity of sand and sugar so the point here is this initially from the way the question was structured we were trying to remove sugar from a beaker containing sugar and sand now let's stop there to analyze the question so here is how a beaker looks like you know a beaker is an instrument used in the laboratory and this is how it is so they told us that you know sugar and sand was inside this beaker let's take this to be the beaker so inside this beaker we're looking at we have a mixture of sugar okay let's take this to be the sugar all of these i'm you know using dot and let's take this you know squared substance to be the sand do you understand so inside this beaker initially we have a mixture of you know sand and sugar together and we were trying to remove sugar from inside do you understand so moving further two molar this molar means concentration two molar ammonium chloride two m now it must be noted here that this capital letter m means molar concentration so then i say that two molar concentration of this compound ammonium chloride solution was accidentally added instead of water wow so as we're trying to remove this sugar all of this you know sugar from this beaker containing sugar and sand together you know we wanted to remove it by adding water to this beaker but accidentally ammonium chloride was added they just specified the concentration of ammonium chloride that was added this doesn't really matter here in this question so they accidentally added ammonium chloride okay in instead of what water so the question now says which of the following methods could be used to remove the ammonium chloride from the mixture so this must be noted listen carefully to have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen so here is the mixture initially the mixture contained you know you know the first of them was sand and after sand we have uh, sugar and now lastly we now have let's just take this you know to be the ammonium chloride that was added I believe you are following me so this was the ammonium chloride added instead of water so now this mixture now contained three substances three three which is sand sugar and ammonium chloride so this must be noted sand sugar and ammonium chloride so the question now says which of the following methods you can see all of these are called separation techniques which of the following methods can be used to remove the ammonium chloride so what do we do first to remove the ammonium chloride it is actually very easy now let's analyze the options so option a is fractional distillation do you think fractional distillation can even be used in this separation it cannot be used because whenever we talk about fractional distillation we have to look out for liquids and in the question we'll be seeing boiling points so the principle to which fractional distillation works is you know difference in you know every separation techniques have their own principle to which they work so for fractional distillation why it can never be the answer to this question is because 
Fractional distillation works on the principle of difference in boiling points among liquids. Do you understand? So now, did you even see any form of boiling point here? No. So this can never be the answer. Is sand a liquid? No. Is sugar a liquid? No. Do you understand? So this must be noted. Option A is already out. So moving further to option B. Option B is filtration followed by evaporation. I think I'll walk towards this. Listen carefully. But leave option B first. Option C is evaporation followed by sublimation. Now, me looking at evaporation now, my mind will tell me that, okay, evaporation can, might actually be a process to be employed to actually get, you know, the ammonium chloride they are asking us to obtain. But let's, you know, remove that from my mind and focus on sublimation. And the reason why option C can never be the answer is because, because, you know, sublimation has to do with, you know, the change of, phase of a substance from solid state directly into gaseous form so in this question did you see any gas formed no so option c is out definitely option d will be out as well because we saw sublimation too and we already said that you can see that gases were not formed no gas was involved so definitely because sublimation has to do with the change of phase of a substance from solid state directly into gaseous form and we did not see any and we did not see anything like that in this question so that is why option c and option d can never be the answer and it's just a simple reason to which option c and d can never be the answer so definitely the answer to this question is option b but i have to analyze to you why it is option b which is filtration first followed by evaporation now this must be noted so you can see that the mixture we've gotten at the end of you know turning all of these things inside the beaker was sand sugar ammonium chloride so listen carefully i believe you know that sand is insoluble do you think sand can dissolve in water no sand cannot dissolve in water so sand is insoluble do you think sugar can dissolve in water yes sugar can dissolve in water so sugar is what soluble and this is already a solution on its own so let's say now first of all the first step i'll do here is this i will simply take every uh, the, the beaker and then bring out a, a test tube or another beaker let's say we brought out a test tube here is the test tube do you understand let me draw it down so that we can actually you know get our uh, 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 what do you call it now filter paper so here is a filter paper just listen carefully so here is a filter paper because we use filter paper here so you already see that we are using filter paper this will tell you that filtration follows because anytime we are using filter paper the procedure done is filtration we want to do filtration first of all so every content of this beaker will take it and turn it inside this beaker sorry inside this test tube doing that you already know that i said that sand is insoluble and these two of them they are soluble so definitely when i turn the content of this beaker inside this test tube you know the two substances that will actually enter inside this test tube is simply you know sugar and also is simply ammonium chloride i believe you are following me it is sugar and ammonium chloride whereby you know sand will remain in the filter paper do you understand you know substances that are being filtered they are called filtrates whereby substances that remains inside the filter paper they are called residue so at the end of doing this you can see that we've successfully separated sand from sugar and ammonium chloride but what are we working towards we are we are working towards you know getting ammonium chloride so definitely since we've, we've done filtration that's the first step we've done filtration that's the first step followed by evaporation so then you can see that what is inside this test tube it is simply just you know uh, sugar and ammonium chloride so then we we'll just expose you know sugar and ammonium chloride on heat do you understand under the sun so doing that definitely the sugar and the ammonium chloride will actually crystal out do you understand they will both crystal out you see the sugar content will be formed and ammonium content will be formed as well so with that you can actually get the ammonium chloride from this test tube i believe you understand how evaporation was explained do you understand so you can see how this question was actually solved it is actually very easy it is not difficult so if you find this video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button and also the like you know button to this video lesson and also share my videos 
with your friends. Watch out for more videos on separation techniques. Thanks for watching.